hope you're having a fantastic day. I just wanted to do a little intro to the intro of this video. Um, just kind of a little warning. There'll be a warning in the title too. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of tears. And that's okay, because we're all human. Um, it's a little bit rambly because it was three in the morning and I was in excruciating pain and that happens. Um, I am okay and there will be more updates. I am doing much better than this video is going to show you because this is now a couple days old. Um, actually, this is yesterday. It feels like a lifetime when you're admitted. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you do enjoy this vlog a little bit. Um, I really wanted to just shed some light on what it's like being admitted with COVID-19 and when you're used to a certain routine or certain protocols when stuff gets a little bit mixed up how that is for the patient. I just kind of wanted to share that. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm doing a lot better than I am tonight. <laughs> um, it's been really rough. It's three in the morning now. Um, and I'm obviously exhausted. My pain's been through the roof. Um, this doctor does not want to switch my pain meds simply because he doesn't like ordering what pain meds work. Um, and he won't adjust the dose either. Um, and usually when I'm on this type of pain medicine, it's not as strong as my normal one, so I need a higher dosage. And because of my EDS, I burn through pain medicine, which I'm sure you all have heard other EDS vloggers like Jackie, Cheyenne, or Amy. I'm trying to think who else has EDS. They're, I'm missing somebody. Um, but anyways, the big, you know, EDS vloggers, I've heard them all say the same thing, which actually brought me a lot of comfort, to be honest with you. So I'm waiting till 3.30 to get the medicine that I'm allowed. And I'm praying. not start reacting in the middle of the night because I don't have all my mast cell medicine in me and I'm pretty nervous about that because I've never missed a dose and I'm gonna be missing that I know of at least it's gonna at least be three at this point of one medicine and I think just one of the others because I alternate different meds in the morning and the evening for certain things um for my mass cell, and I'm not going to say the names of the mass cell meds, except for chromalin, because I don't remember them. There's no other real reason. Um, but it went well until I got up here, and then when I ran into the pain problem, it's just hard. So I feel like people look at me, and they're like, oh, she just wants stronger medicine. And not that, oh... She's saying it because she's really in pain, and that's what hurts. Because even if I get my medicine, it's not going to take away all my pain. It'll get me from a 10 to like an 8, and then maybe I'll sleep. But I figure, you know what, if I'm going to share my life, I'm going to be as authentic and open as I deem appropriate. Um, obviously, not everything goes on here, but I felt like, even though I didn't feel really like picking up the camera, that, you know what, this is real life. This is what it's like to be admitted as a medically complex patient during the co coronavirus. It's not fun. It's scary. Um, I don't even know, like, I told the nurse what we do if I have a reaction, but I'm pretty certain that my medicine is not ordered. I don't know if it's on standby. Because the last time when I asked them to put it on standby, it wasn't. So there's gonna be a lot of hard conversations in the morning. And I'm sorry that I'm like so emotional, but I think too that I'm going back into the adrenal crisis. And when I go through crises, I get really, really emotional. That was actually the first clue that something was really wrong yesterday. I started bawling. 
and I just like I couldn't stop crying and I was just very very hopeless and upset very very anxious um, and none of these things had any context there was well there's I'm sure you can always find a reason to genuinely be upset some things were bothering me yes but I'm able to also tell that a good portion of it was what's going on in my body because checking my vitals and everything was off. I've started peaking a very, very low grade fever. I do use the term fever even though it is 99.9 .9 because that is a fever in my body. I run between 96 to 97 when I'm feeling good. So I know that something, something's up and I feel like everybody's not treating it serious. I've gotten very little information, very little communication, and I'm not, I don't like not having communication. I value communication above all with my health. Like, I just, I feel it's so important. And it is obviously, it's hard not to think of, like, Jackie when you're in the hospital. Okay, so I have like just a couple more minutes before my nurse is supposed to come back in. Um, she basically told me that her hands were tied. I feel like that's not completely true and I don't want to be mean, but there's always other options. I've had nurses in the past, you know, talk to the doctor again or talk to a different or just talk to somebody else in the hospital to find out like what to do. But it's also guys, I'm here and it's not a far walk to the bathroom. But I'm alone. Like seriously. I am completely alone. I'm going to show you my shop door. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully that's not like a terrible angle. My bathroom is close. Praise God. Um, but I asked before I even got up here. I was like, y'all, I use mobility aids at home. I have not used them like as consistently the past couple weeks like after the bolus dose which I told y'all that I was feeling a lot stronger yada 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 so but as I'm tapering I'm in a lot more pain I'm getting a lot weaker I don't know why I keep moving my hand like that um so I was like I really do need a mobility aid and they're like you can just wait till tomorrow I'm like well that's great because if I fall tonight so like I just I don't feel like people are taking me completely serious um, and then I was told oh you'll be able to get your chromolin tomorrow like your family will be able to bring it and I was like well in the past like the hospital did not let them bring my medicine to help me eat and she's like well this is important because eating's not important like so it's just like little things like that and I know like in perspective it's really not that bad I know it's gonna be fine I do believe that, you know, God's got this, but it's still hard. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change, you know, that I'm human and I get emotional just like everybody else. I get scared. And I don't want y'all like to think like, oh, my life's perfect or I handle everything so great or anything. This is real life with a chronic illness. There are lots of tears. And you've seen plenty of tears already, and I'm sure you'll see more, because life with chronic illness, it's emotional. And I really think, though, like, for those of you who are Christians, I'm just going to throw this out there, that, you know what, God understands why we feel emotional with everything going on, and I believe that there's grace, and I believe when we're scared and we go to him, that that's a great thing. And I think that he really embraces that, and I think that he uses the illness and everything else to inspire and encourage those around us to, you know, uplift others with chronic illness and tell them, you know what, it's fine to cry. I've been there too. You know, I've dealt with the stupid doctor. I've dealt with the rude nurse. Um, like these experiences allow us like to connect more deeply with one another in the fight against chronic illness. Alright guys, so she should be here soon, which is good. I'm trying to be thankful. <sighs> you know what? Tomorrow's gonna be better. Right? So, with that, 
I will say goodbye. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. Uh, if you made it this far, congratulations. Please consider hitting subscribe if you're not subscribed because you made it this far. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.